third eye, also called the mind's eye or inner eye, is a mystical and esoteric concept referring to a speculative invisible eye which provides perception beyond ordinary sight. Third eye is an extension of what the mind knowingly perceives. It is a subconscious awareness of the surroundings and interactions of the environment. Since ancient times, the third eye has been revealed by own source of controls. It is seen as a spiritual symbol, representing our ability to conquer own source of challenges in life. But it's actually deeper than that. In all sorts of Austin traditions, the spiritual eye is considered to be real, something that anyone can perceive and clearly see with deep concentration. If someone has been meditating on this spot with regularity, it will begin to manifest with increasing frequency. According to Theosophy, the third eye, also known as the inner eye, is a mystical and esoteric concept referring to a speculative, invisible eye which provides perception beyond ordinary sight. In certain Dharmic spiritual traditions, such as Hinduism, the third eye refers to the Aina, or Brahma Chakra. The third eye is referred to the gate that leads within to inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. In new age spirituality, the third eye often symbolizes the state of enlightenment or the invocations of mental images having deeply personal spiritual or psychological significance. The third eye is often associated with religious visions, clairvoyance, the ability to observe chakras and auras, recognition, and our body experiences. People who are claimed to have the capacity to utilize their third eyes are sometimes known as seers. In certain Dharmic spiritual traditions, such as Hinduism, the third eye refers to the Aina, or Bro, Chakra. The third eye refers to the gate that leads to inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. In New Age spirituality, the third eye often symbolizes a state of enlightenment or the evocation of mental images having deeply personal spiritual or psychological significance. The third eye is often associated with religious visions, clairvoyance, the ability to observe chakras and hours, recognition, and our body experiences. People who are claimed to have the capacity to utilize their third eyes are sometimes known as seers. In some traditions, such as Hinduism, the third eye is said to be located around the middle of the forehead, slightly away the junction of the eyebrows. According to the Christian teaching of Father Richard Rohr, the concept of the third eye is the metaphor for non dualistic thinking. The way the mystics see. In Rohr's concept, mystics employ the first eye, sensory inputs such as sight, and the second eye, the eye of reason, meditation, and reflection. But they know not to confuse knowledge with depth or mere coding information with transformation of consciousness itself. The mystical gaze views upon the first two eyes and yet grows further. Rohr refers to this level of awareness as having the mind of Christ. According to the neo-gnostic teachings of Samuel and Leo, the third eye is referenced symbolically and functionally several times in the book of Revelation 3, 7 to 13, a word which, as the whole, he believes is Christ in reality is progression of what to three and a half twins and seven chakras. This interpretation reflects the third eye with the sixth of the seven churches of Azure Detail therein, the Church of Philadelphia. In Taoism and many traditional Chinese religious sects such as Chan, according to Zen's book, third eye training involves focusing attention on the point between the eyebrows with the eyes closed. 
and when the body is in various qigong postures. The goal of this training is to allow students to turn into the correct vibration of the universe and gain a solid foundation on which to reach more advanced meditation levels. Taoism teaches that the third eye, also called the mind's eye, is situated between the two physical eyes and expands up to the middle of the forehead when opened. Taoism claims that the third eye is one of the main energy centers of the body located at the sixth chakra, forming a part of the main meridian, the line separating left and right hemispheres of the body. In Taoist or chemical traditions, the third eye is the frontal part of the upper dentia, upper cinnabophere, and is given the evocative name Madi Pili. In Buddhism, in their different versions, there are techniques and practices involving the development of that capacity. Even if the ultimate goal is to understand the existing reality as it is, unsatisfactory, impermanent, and unsubstantial, non-self or ananta. Mahayana Buddhism and in the Tibetan practices, such knowledge tends to be more valuable than in Theravada Buddhism. Although there are techniques to open the divine eye or to clean the vision, the Egyptian staff of Osiris, dating back to approximately 1224 BC, depicts two intertwining serpents rising up to meet at a high call and the very famous symbol of the Eye of Ra. It was known to symbolize their life-giving powers and its dangerous aspect was invoked in the protection of the pharaoh of sacred places and of ordinary people and their homes. Modern scholars and philosophers have noted the stuff simply parallels to the Indian Kundalini, a spiritual energy in the body depicted as quiet serpents rising up from the base of the spear to the third eye, pineal gland, in the moment of enlightenment. A waking Kundalini represents the motion and alignment of the chakras and is said to be the one and only way to attain the divine wisdom bringing pure joy, pure knowledge, and pure love. Throughout the span of recorded human history, pink cows have served as a symbolic representation of human enlightenment, the third eye, and the pineal gland. In addition to spiritual consciousness and enlightenment, pink cows have also historically been used as symbols of everlasting or internal life. Ancient Assyrian palace carvings dating back to 713 to 716 BC depict four winged good like figures purposefully holding a lot of pie cards, or in some cases using a pie car to pollinate their depiction of the tree of life, a chibu, perhaps to boost the pie car's immortality, symbolism, and its role as an icon of enlightenment. The biological foundation of the mice eye is not fully understood. Studies using fMRI have shown that the lateral, geniculate, nucleus and the V1 area of the visual cortex are activated during mental imagery tasks, rotting The visual pathway is not an one-way street. Higher areas of the brain can also send visual input back to neurons in lower areas of the visual cortex. As humans, we have the ability to see with the mind's eye to have a perceptual experience in the absence of visual input. For example, PET scans have shown that when subjects sit in a room, imagine they are at their front door, starting to walk either to the left or right. Activation begins in the visual association cortex, the parietal cortex, and the prefrontal cortex, or higher cognitive processing centers of the brain. 
The rudiments of a biological basis for the mind's eye is found in the deeper portions of the brain below the new cortex or where the center of perception exists. Thalamus has been found to be discrete to other components in that it processes all forms of the perceptional data related from both lower and higher components of the brain. Furthermore, the pineal gland is the hypothetical candidate for producing a mind's eye. Rick Strassman and others has postulated that during near-death experiences and DEs and dreaming, the gland might secret a hallucinogenic chemical and an dimethyltryptamine (DMT) to produce internal visuals when external sensory data is occluded. However, this hypothesis has yet to be fully supported with neurochemical evidence and plausible mechanism for DMT production. The hypothesized condition when a person lacks the mind's eye is called a fantasia. The term was first suggested in a 2015 study. In theosophy, it is related to the pineal gland. According to this theory, humans had in far ancient times an actual third eye in the back of the head with a physical and spiritual function. Over time, as humans evolved, this eye has to fill and sunk into what today is known as the pineal gland. Dr. Rick Strathman has hypothesized that the pineal gland, which maintains light sensitivity, is responsible for the production and release of DMT, dimethyltryptamine, an antigen which he believes possibly could be excreted in large quantities at the moments of birth and death. Adherents of the Theosophist Helena Blavatsky has suggested that the third eye is in fact the partially dormant corneal gland which resides between the two hemispheres of the brain. Reptiles and amphibians sense light via a third parietal eye, a structure associated with the corneal gland which serves to regulate their circadian rhythms and for navigation as it can sense the polarization of light. Charles Webster Lee Beater, an influential member of the Theosophical Society, claimed that by extending an iterate tube from the third eye, it is possible to develop microscopic and telescopic vision. It has been asserted by Stephen Phillips that the third eye's microscopic vision is capable of observing ob objects as small as quarks. According to sacred doctrine, the synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy, a book originally published as two volumes in 1888, written by Helena Blavatsky. The first volume is named Cosmogenesis, the second Anthropogenesis. It was an influential example of the revival of interest in esoteric and occult ideas in the modern age, in particular because of its claim to reconcile ancient Eastern wisdom with modern science. According to Blavatsky, describes the origins of humanity through an account of root races said to date back millions of years. The first root race was, according to her, Eteria. The second root had more physical bodies and lived in Hyperborea. The third root race, Lemurian. The first to be truly human is said to have existed on the lost continent of Lemuria and the fourth root race, Atlantean, is said to have developed in Atlantis. The fifth root race is Aryan, the elder human being before our modern human. The difference of ancient races like Remurian and Atlantis with modern human is they have the development of third eye. The ancient races can open and connection to the fourth dimension. Modern human only in third dimension to learn and earning the knowledge and wisdom from another space races of universe like Alpha Centauri from Sirius system. 
or have the true visions and comprehension about the development of the world that make them evolve their civilizations and have a great technology science far from the modern human can imagine. After the loss of their own continent, Atlanteans who fought root race spread out across the world, especially across the coast of the surrounding continents. They left their marks everywhere in the form of burial mounds and doormen. The term burial mound is actually incorrect as they were not always used as graves. They were places where shamans and others could calmly meditate and step out of their bodies with their spirits. In order to do so, the pineal gland in the head must be activated, also called your third eye, which is best accomplished in complete darkness and quiet. Scholars of Eastern religions recognize the third eye as having a long history in India, China, and Asia, where Hinduism, Buddhism, and Taoism hold sway. Strangely, the third eye is ignored by archaeologists of New World countries, despite extensive evidence of third eye symbolism in ancient American artwork. Are the following third eye images from the New World, which I've researched and collected over the past 20 years, the key to unlocking the religions of Maya, Amek, Atec, Inca, Pre-Inca, and other ancient American cultures? We find this third eye symbolism among countries that evolved and flourish in present day Mexico, Peru, Colombia, Panama, and even the United States, i.e., the Almec, Toltec, Maya, Zapotec, Aztec, Inca, Pre Inca, and Mississippian countries, among others. Taoist and shamanic practices have developed extensive chaining techniques for using and working with your third eye. It's a real sense, but it's a mental sense, and it must be used and turned in order to be developed fully. It isn't something that just works out of the box from birth. Then sensation, a pressure between the eyebrows. Typically, when the third eye begins to manifest on a deeper level, there is a corresponding awareness of sensation between the eyebrows. It may feel like someone is slightly touching you at this point or words. Many times, these sensations can appear out of nowhere. Whether or not you are having spiritual talks, it's almost as if it's a reminder to pull you back into that spiritual mindset. Foresight Spiritual development naturally increases the intuition. Intuition is the ability to know something will happen before it actually does. It's a subtle feeling that comes and goes without warning. But over time, this feeling can get stronger and stronger and become a guiding principle in our lives. Deeper connection to an inner self-reliance In the East, there's the big distinction between the self and the self. It's the difference between thinking you are personality with like and dislikes and thinking you are a spark of the universe. That kind of distinction will completely change the way you view yourself and the world and give you a new sense of strength and confidence. If you are getting a calm, clear feeling that the world is completely open to you and your potential is limitless, this is a sign you are identifying more with the self and connecting to your third eye. Lies of Enlightenment When concentrating deeply on the spiritual eye, such as in meditation, the light of the spiritual eye may appear. 
it can be lots of different secular shapes and lies. But when it's in full manifestation, it takes on the form of a white five-pointed star in a dark blue sphere, surrounded by a golden circle. This final form of the spiritual eye has been known for centuries in many countries worldwide and celebrated in all kinds of artwork and religious works. The third eye, also called the mice eye or inner eye, is a mystical and esoteric concept referring to a speculative invisible eye which provides perception beyond ordinary sight. Third eye is the extension of what the mind knowingly perceives. It is the subconscious awareness of the surroundings and interactions of the environment. Since ancient times, the third eye has been reversed by all sorts of countries. It seems as a spiritual symbol representing our ability to conquer our own source of challenges in life.